Hello, welcome to episode 3 of our Ostrov Alpha 5 Let's Play. We're here in August of 1723, We've got 42 people in our town, and last we left off, we had just finished building a couple of things here. We've got a cart shed, cart parking, excuse me, that needs to have some carts queued up, so we'll go ahead and order those. And now we're in a spot where we can pretty much start expanding population. Got a decently reliable food source in this farm here even though they just finished harvesting stuff. So we have some buckwheat to sell in the town marketplace. And we even have some flax and linseed to start doing other fun stuff with plenty of wheat. Probably need to build a uh, windmill so we can make some flour. And we have sunflowers when we can start making sunflower oil. But all of that's going to require more population. So before we build any more houses, let's check and see what kind of resources we have in terms of people here. Yeah, we're not uh, not looking great on available jobs, but we do have a woman here in the Thatchery who doesn't absolutely have to work in the Thatchery, and I think it might behoove us to go ahead and have a third orchard before we get too far along. So, let's come over here. We'll pop it right next to these other ones. There we go. We'll just put our little uh, hut back here in the middle. Build that, and then we'll have the woman who works in the thatchery currently come work here. And then we'll start putting in some more houses after they build the orchard. Because now we have a... Kind of have a mighty need, if you will, for some additional workforce, especially men, because we have all sorts of other stuff we need to be doing. We can do more import-export if we have people to actually, you know, produce products. And we also need to improve our market area right here. This is kind of an awkward uh, location for it, but there's not really much else that can be built here. So I think what we're going to end up doing is see if we can fit a granary here, maybe another uh, market stall or two, and then maybe close this off, put some benches in, other things that aren't going to complain about the terrain. And the more stuff that we end up growing and the more animals we can actually raise and not kill because of not having a... Well, anything stored up to feed them over the winter, I think the better off we're going to be. So why don't we go ahead put in a couple more uh, hay dryers here. Because so I think there might still be some time to get them in here mowing some hay. I'm not sure exactly how much longer we have in a mowing season. But we should, theoretically, have enough time for them to come in here and do this. Uh, cows are doing cow things. We have milk now that we can actually sell at the market. So this is one of the best things in this new update, I think, is the automatic resource slots. It's so annoying trying to manually assign stuff, so we're going to make a great use of that. Now we got a couple people complaining about food variety, but they have a garden. They're going to be able to harvest pretty soon. So let's go ahead and start putting in some more houses here because we are definitely... Definitely going to need them. Leave a little bit of space here. We'll just go default size. Lot should be okay for now. Ah, uneven terrain. Is there a spot I can put the house here? There is, if I move it back a little bit. That'll be fine right there. And I think we can put one more. Let's find our uh, other spot here. I think the house is fine pretty much anywhere in here. Yeah, that'll be good there. And we can go ahead while we're waiting. I have muscle memory for the location of these things in the previous update. So forgive me for not uh, immediately going to the right spot. Just put some arches right here. We'll leave that backside open for now. Uh, the well probably needs a... Well, we have this one over here but probably could use another one as well. Ha, 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 anybody? No? That's fine. So once we get this all taken care of, they'll start building these houses, and then we can think about what other production chains we want to set up. I think to do a lot of the early game stuff that we probably should be doing, we're going to need bricks, which means, of course, we'll have to build a brickworks, which means we need clay, sand, water, and charcoal, we have charcoal, we have 
clay right here. We'll have to find a place to put a sand pit and then find a better spot for the uh, brickworks to go without taking up any of our shoreline. That's going to be useful for things like fishing because it's not the entire, uh, the entire shoreline isn't good anymore for putting buildings down. So I think most of this space right here is probably going to need to be reserved for fishing. And then, of course, right across here, we do have rocks, stone, rather. Let's go ahead and actually we can just copy paste. And then we'll grow some cherry trees here. Take her out of the uh, picture for the thatchery because we have plenty of thatch enough to make three houses easy. So that's looking nice. Go ahead and find a spot for our sand pit. So we do have some space up here. Unfortunately, we did put a house there. Uh, nobody down here. I've got a... If I really felt like I could put one here, I wonder if I could get it, uh, get it to just be slightly, slightly on that green dot. Can I... Uh, no? Not really, huh? This actually isn't bad right here. Oh, I would prefer to have it just really close. Really close to the clay pit. Can I, in fact... I could move the clay pit here, actually. Put one, uh, put one right there and then put a sand pit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's put those two right next to each other. That'll be very convenient. Just move this out of the way and we can put some other things right there. Actually, let's check and see. Is that going to be even level enough ground? No, it's still uneven terrain. But up here is good. So we could put our brickworks there. We do have our uh, platform for gathering water right there, which looks nice. We need to have, definitely, if we're going to have any more than five cows, we need to have more hay barracks available. Ah, uh, we could put a huge one in, but... Uh, I don't know. Can I, can I find a good spot for it is the question. I'm actually not sure. But I know I can always find room for one, as long as the terrain is not too uneven to plant anything. Looks like it might be, but I know I said I didn't want to do it right in front of the door, but this does let me put this here, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, we're going to want a lot of this hay stored. It doesn't seem to go bad year over year, which is good. Here we go. House is all done. Should have somebody moving in here soon at some point. So let's think uh, long term. This is pro this little uh, road right here is probably going to be one of the main thoroughfares going through different places. So I think we're going to want to put a bridge across right here. So in order to do that, come over to our trade and transport tab. Let's see if I can find a good spot right about here. Accessible trees. Yeah, if we put that there, then we'll have a nice bridge across here and we can get at all of these stone deposits and we can also put fishing stuff on the other side. Of course, it's still inaccessible, but we can put probably a little bit more. Maybe not, maybe just uh, maybe just two over here. Whereas on this side. Mm, eh, probably still just two but we do have space over here. We just can't get a too comfortable things. Might, fishing might actually just be fine over there. Now, is that occupied by a... Uh... Wow, okay, that is so close. <laughs> I didn't think it would care, but we'll get into fishing in the spring. I'm not going to build one in October because they won't really be able to do anything. that will be kind of a waste. But... To have this set up like so, if we can get the bridge built, then we can either put the uh, stone mining camp on this side. How close is the limestone, actually? Let's, uh... I actually don't remember where it is. Is it all the way over? Oh, sheesh, it's all the way over here. Okay, so we might have to, uh... Might have to have a couple different ones. So that's, uh... Not ideal. But we did have family move in here, and we're waiting on someone to move in here. Get some more labor. I guess we're still looking for people to do that. 
But all these trees are planted, so in three years we should have harvest of all three of those, and that's looking nice. Uh, we need a granary. Specifically, we need to be able to purchase goods from the uh, citizens. I don't think this one's going to fit up here because of how uneven the terrain is. As much as I would love it to, it's just uh, the way this is set up is just not, not really conducive to anything. But I think we might be able to get the smaller one in. Aha! Now that's a little uh, a little janky. But I think there's going to be a spot we can actually fit this where it sits there correctly. I'm going to try and get it a little, uh, a little less weird looking. That should work fine there. I think we're going to want to put in a fence here. Oh, that's so close to actually fitting there. But we'll put that fence there, and I think we can put in another market stall. I don't know exactly where in here I'll be able to put these things, because it is kind of uh, kind of really uneven and unpleasant. But if, if, big if, I can get two of these in here. Let's actually check the uh, edge here. Can I put these two next to each other? It looks like I can. So that's going to be a nice uh, little fenced-in area. Not, not going to be anything crazy. But we should be able to... Can I put in a... Oh, that's too big. Big arch is too big. But I think we might be able to... So that one hasn't had anything done. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, okay, I have to empty it first. Maybe that won't happen. So we have a little bit much going on. Actually, come to think of it, can I even put... Ben oh, I could put benches anywhere. They're just going to be super, uh, super askew. How would you like to sit on a bench like that, huh? Where <laughs> it's like it tilted at a 30 degree angle. Just keeps sliding over to the person sitting next to you. Okay, nothing else currently for sale. The chicken meat's actually about to go bad. That's, uh, interesting. So what is this thing? Soil is exhausted. So this should actually probably still stay fallow? Okay, it's, it's too exhausted to do the sunflowers. Is it too exhausted to do flax? Uh, maybe we might have to advance that before we get too far. All right, so we can go ahead and demolish the clay pit. It's not mission critical, but getting this up will be super nice. We'll be able to start quarrying some stone and then see what else do we need to make the brickworks. Well, that's actually it. We just need to get a charcoal. So we'll probably want to put in right next to the brickworks. So it's a very convenient, should be okay. Okay, messenger, messenger, what you got? You got some chickens. We don't need to buy those. We have plenty of the rest of this stuff. I think we can sell buckwheat. Yeah, let's sell 500 buckwheat. Get ourselves some uh, money back here. We're not going to use all of it anyway. Chicken eggs, we don't have any to sell. We're not making any of this. I kind of want to buy some honey, but we also need to save our money. We're getting... Uh, or cows, because, well, this many cows are really not going to, uh, not going to last us very long. Let's see, do I have anything else I can sell in here? I don't think so. It's going to depend on getting this, uh, small granary we put up. Because then we can actually purchase the garden goods from all of the citizens and resell them in the market. This is going to be a little, uh, a little funky how this is set up, but eh, you know, it is what it is. We're doing the best with what we have. I do appreciate that these guys no longer walk on the floor here when they're building bridges. They used to do that a long time ago. But instead, we can watch them put all the pieces together. And then when that's all taken care of, we'll be able to get across here, get at the stone and figure out what else we're going to do. I just have to decide if the stone mining camp is going to be on this side or on this side. I'm kind of tempted to just go ahead and put it right here. 
But I also, uh, I don't know, I, I guess we're going to have to make another one for all the, uh, the limestone over here. That's a lot of limestone. But I'm sure we're going to go through all of it anyway. Is that the only limestone on the map? We have 40, 40 some thousand of it. I know we can import more. Actually, come to think of it, how much stone is there? Not a lot, but we can buy from other people, which is nice to see. I love how we're gonna we're gonna deconstruct a clay pit. I guess they're just gonna dump dirt back in the hole. That's probably how this works. All right, this thing, yeah, this is this is a little scuffed <laughs> in the corner here. This is a, a little aggressive of a hill for me to try to put something in. But it's not gonna be the only uh, area we have where people can buy and sell goods. It's just a nice way to fill the hole here. It shouldn't take them too long to get that taken care of. should be finished in just a minute, actually, and we can take a look at the automatic selling stuff. I do like the detail of the little ladder right here to go up to the uh, upper level. Just really, really great attention to detail. The thatch should go on soon. Then this one will be complete. All right. So, now we have the option. We can copy the resource list to another granary. We can set resource slots automatically. We can do that from production or buy from locals. So let's hit that. And this is everything. Well, up to eight different items that we can buy. We'll check this to buy from local producers. And then, come in here, check all of these. They should be checked by default. Don't know why they're not. Hire a, a woman to work there so we don't lose a guy from doing construction. And... I think we should have enough people in here to uh, actually work. As soon as we start getting stock here, we can hire some more to work in these market stalls, but we're going to need some more people in here. So we got one woman in the chicken coop. We got two in the cow shed. Got three in the farm. Now I wanted to have, for the next season of uh, planting, I wanted to have plows which is going to require us sending a messenger out to someone who has cows and can sell us oxen or bulls. Because right now we just have the one. We can't get rid of him because, well, how are you, how are you going to have more cows? So while we're waiting for that, we probably should also put in another field. We're not going to go all the way to uh, the shoreline here because I do want to build buildings. So we'll go to, say, uh, say 30 units. We'll come all the way over here. Get this as close as we can. And we'll end up rotating what these fields grow. Right now these are set to wheat. That actually probably should be a uh, hemp. Two wheats and a hemp. And then this is set to potatoes and buckwheat. These are probably both going to become potatoes and buckwheat. And this one will become wheat because it's going to be a little bigger. This one can stay at sunflowers and flax. That will be perfectly fine there. We just need somebody to come by and say, hey, I got cows. Because if we don't have a plow, then it's going to be hard for us to sustain actual good farm production. And we don't have very much time either. So I didn't think, I don't think these guys had cows. I think it was these guys. Let's send a messenger. We'll find out. And this says the soil is exhausted. Yeah, it kind of kind of looks it. If we were growing, say, barley or something, then that might uh, that might end up being okay. Do we still have sunflowers? Yeah, we have 588. I'm actually kind of tempted to just change this to barley because it's going to like that. And we're going to use that anyway in the distillery, I believe. If I am remembering correctly... Oh, Hiroka from Wheat. Barley and Hops is for the brewery. That's what it was. All right. And they do have cows. That is good to see. Oh, I can buy... I can just buy oxen. We'll go ahead and buy uh, four of those. We do not need 22 regular cows. I'll buy four of those guys, and then... Uh, I think... Can I afford uh, 200... No. I cannot afford to buy any cows, but we absolutely have to have... We don't really need four. I guess we can get by with two. I'd rather have two oxen and two more actual cows. So we'll, uh, we'll buy those. 
of course, we have the other uh, other town brings people in. Buckwheat. Uh, we can still sell buckwheat, so I'll make my little 50 coins doing that. The rest of this, we're not really in a position to do anything, but cow shed here is stocked up on hay and water, and there's plenty more outside. So it should be able to handle the addition of a couple more cows. And then, of course, as soon as the oxen come in, we're going to have to click Supply 4 and make sure that they actually get water and hay in there so those don't die immediately after we have them uh, sent off to be made into plow pullers. And this one needs to have trees removed. So I'm actually going to deactivate this field because we're going to change what it's growing. But they can go ahead and start taking care of these. I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to deactivate all of these for right now. Until we actually have oxen tied up to a plow. So they should be able to... We come up here... Yeah, they're trying to get the animals. So we should see a guy come out here with... Uh, at least one of these guys. Yeah, it says relocating. Looks like these two guys coming in might be grabbing those. No? Okay, they're getting trees. That's fine, too. All right, somebody come in here and grab these ox. Oh, they're getting milk out of the cow shed. That was always allowed. Okay, there goes one. And we'll see the other one. I don't need a loan. I wasn't running out of money. Maybe I was. I don't know. We'll see. I just really need them to actually finish making the plow so we can plant, you know, it's kind of a kind of important. All right, yeah, make your plow and then take it over there and then I will un deactivate the fields. I'll activate the fields. Come on. There you go. Come on down. Ride that thing. <laughs> the people I paid to go see came back. Well, I can't really buy anything else, can I? All right, so now this is ready. Go ahead and go ahead and activate this field and this field. Let them take care of those things. And then as soon as this is ready, we'll activate the other ones. We have tons of wheat, well, relatively speaking, so we don't really need to stress out about not having anything available growing from this field. But they do have to get started planting or it's going to be a very bad time. So now they are going to be using a fallow field, except they don't have one. Because we don't have... Uh, we don't have another field for them to go into. I don't want to make a pasture because that's kind of a waste. But at the same time, if I keep them inside, I have to feed them hay, which we don't have a ton of. So they probably should go, you know what, let's, let's just uh, keep this as a fallow field for this year so we can have the cows go out. There's really, uh, really no harm in that. Is this activated? Yeah. So they should, should take the cows out. One would think if they uh, come in here. You can leave the cows? No? Anybody? Normally they do that. Do I have to just uh, kick this on and off, or what? There we go. So they will graze and feed themselves, and we don't have to worry about depleting all of our control over the uh, hay supply. No, I, I am starting to lose hope about using this field this season. Because they're... Uh... Where did that come from? Oh, I can't click on it, can I? It's not going to tell me when a calf is born, is it? Oh, oh, a newborn bull. Very cool. Somehow was born in the barn despite all the cows being here. That's some, uh... Interesting... <laughs> interesting spawning there going on. Alright, so... 
Not enough food for sale. Have we started importing enough of this stuff yet? Okay. Onions. We need to hire on... I guess we can... Nope. I forgot to check these off. Go ahead. Take care of that. Fly higher and higher. And then we'll stock. There we go. And now they should actually be able to buy stuff. Right out of the granary right there. All right, now end of April is gonna be very hard for us to actually plant and make anything here. Fortunately, growing potatoes and uh, barley is fine. I really wanted to have more, more stuff going. I wanted to grow potatoes and buckwheat at the same time, but we do seem to still have, mm, okay, we sold all the buckwheat, but we do still have some uh, wheat we can turn into flour when we build a windmill, whenever we have enough guys to operate stuff. The eternal problem of a small town, never have enough bodies. Although I guess if we take some of these off of the uh, construction, we might be able to do something. So let's see, where is the windmill? Where can I put, where can I put a windmill? Probably should be one of these really annoying spots that I can't really build anything else. Let's actually, let's make sure. Okay, uneven terrain. So I can pretty much over here anywhere I can put a windmill and be completely fine. So we'll stick that right there. Yeah, something tells me we're not going to be planting anything. All right, what can I buy? Well, I should be selling, but I don't have enough stuff to sell. Flower, if we had that many units, would actually be a pretty nice payday there. Unfortunately, we don't have that. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get these guys working in the forestry just to get these trees chopped down. Although, at this point, I, I don't think there's anything else we can plow or plant. Now we have to build grave plots, too. That's always fun. Like, what, two years into this thing? Three years into this thing and someone's already dead? That's very inconvenient. Okay, we have our uh, hay dryer is drying hay. So we definitely need to find a place for some more hay storage. I guess we could probably put some up here. Probably doesn't hurt. Windmill is complete. All right. So then we can uh, bring at least one guy in. Start taking care of that. And then we can sell the flour on the market. Of course, we don't have any flour to sell. That's fine. Okay, so the field is finally done. After all of that time, this one we're going to turn into uh, potatoes and buckwheat starting next season. So we can just leave that like that. And then this is going to be Wheat and hemp should be that activate. Oh, they might actually be able to do this. Good. It's just going to be a really short growing season, so that'll be fine right there. like to see that. All right, so now we have hay barracks ready to go whenever these are dry. And I think we probably, probably need to have more houses put in before we really do too much else, but I am a flawed man, and I really want to build row houses. I don't really know if we're going to be able to uh, get there. Probably not today, but uh, what should I say? Never say never, right? Let's make ourselves a brickyard. We definitely brick works. Brickyard is the uh, Indianapolis Raceway. Try to find a good spot for this uneven terrain. Rotate that that way. It's probably fine right there. Make our brickworks. And, oh, before we do that, duh, we have to have our uh, stone mining camp. How could I forget? So let's put this right over here if we can find a good spot for it. It's this uneven terrain. All right, well, you didn't seem to care earlier when I was poking around over here. 
Okay, we can do this here if we remove some trees. That's five trees. That's four trees, three trees, two trees. All right, let's, uh, let's remove two trees. That'll be fine there. We'll have to build a stone mining camp, have at least one cart, have at least one guy working there so we can get the stone so we can build, finally, our brickworks after all that. So while we are doing that, let's see, where else can we put a house that's not going to be outside the range of our market stalls? Because it will tell us. Okay, so we actually have a pretty uh, pretty decent distance. Go ahead and take care of that. We'll put that guy right there. Uneven terrain, huh? Is there anywhere on this plot of land that I can actually stick a house. The world may never know. There's got to be somewhere. Oh, 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 if I put the house right here backwards, it'll fit. If I put it here, oh, okay, actually, we can just uh, rotate it slightly. Come on. This was Almost perfect. All right, let's take a look from the... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's um, that's definitely not ideal. But I can get away with it. If it's in the right spot. All right, so we're going to give up on that. And we're going to give up on that. And instead, I think I'm going to try and have one big yard. Too long. Okay. Well, then how about a short yard here? We'll just have this go sideways. Try that. And then I think I might be able to squeeze another one in right here like this. Just bring this all the way up to the corner. Give us some more uh, space to work with. Because this land slopes so much. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, that works. It's just uh, a little close to the corner there. But that will allow us to put something there. And then we can put our other one up here. And that will be just fine right there. Very cool. So this is just about done. As soon as this is finished, we will get a cart and we'll assign one guy to go start mining stone and then they can start making that we'll just uh, move this over here hire one worker as soon as he has his cart then he should be good to go except I don't think anyone's there right now let's see what other things can we oh we still have four guys in the forest or we don't need yeah we can easily have two and then one guy can go work here Whenever he decides that that is his calling in life is to go uh, break up some stone out of the ground. All right, now let's see, how are we doing over here? We have plenty of hay stored up there. Uh, let's see, that's working okay. Chickens are chickens. They seem to be doing fine. Okay, now we can sell flour. That's looking good. I like that system so much better than the old one where you had to manually select. Man, what a pain. All right, what do these guys want? Well, I can't really sell you any of this. Sorry about it. Lime. Do I need lime to make... I think that is lime. Of course, it's not going to let me uh, actually do anything, is it? Let's see, I think we're going to want to have like the whole side of this thing. Are these the same on each side? Aha, uh -huh. not quite. But they're very, very close. All right, so if I put this, these all actually take more or less the same, more or less. I think that's what I want is the one with a store on the bottom. So if I were to put that, say, right here, 
customize the building because that is something that we have the option to do. Okay, that looks kind of uh, looks kind of strange. You stretch it out that much, but we we have the option to uh, modify it a little bit to make it squishy. We're not going to do that. We're just going to have it be a regular old normal looking thing here. Can I put this right here? So yeah, this needs, it does need lime, which means we can import lime because they're offering it. That's actually not as expensive as I would have thought. We're just going to go ahead and import all of that because uh, we need 870 to make this one row house. I anticipate by the end of today's episode, we might actually be in a position to have more, or we could just import more. This is a very, uh, very long-term stretch goal because we have to make 8,700 bricks. And we don't even have the uh, brickworks completed yet. We have somebody working here? Yes, we do, and they're mining. Oh, they're actually... Okay, can I cancel that trade? No? I guess I can't. That is unfortunate. Because he's got limestone, I guess... Well, I guess that's not the worst thing. Because I would also have to process it in a lime kiln and a lime works. Okay, well, it's not the uh, not the worst thing ever. Wow, he is all the way over here? My god, man. I didn't think you'd go all the way across the map for this. I wish I could just have him only do stone, because this is going to take him forever and a day to get everything done here. Are we out of thatch? Okay, I need to have the thatch turned back on. Wow, I don't, I don't really want him going all the way around the map for that. Okay, who can I remove from the farm? I don't really know if there's anyone I can remove, remove. So I don't need a bunch of limestone, I just need regular stone. So I'm going to uh, turn the limestone one way down. Just make a bunch of stone. We, we have to remember we've done this though. Because if we don't, then I'll probably get mad asking why they don't have any limestone, when in fact it was me that caused the problem the whole time. Alright, do we have... All resources collected, good. Okay, so they can finish that, and then we can build our brickworks. How's everything else looking? People are uh, seem to be reasonably happy with their uh, food selections. Uh, let's see... Barley is going to be interesting. Because we don't have a hops field yet, which we probably should have started growing. That'll be for uh, next year, I'm sure. Let's see, a hop yard we could actually put in. Maybe down here-ish. Let's see how close I can get to this here. Keep these things rotated a little bit. Put that there. Probably would be fine. Then where is the... Where is the brewery? There we go. Barley and hops. That, that requires lime and, uh, and bricks too. That's a pretty big building. So maybe we actually don't want to put this here. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that somewhere else. Not really, uh, not really going to be worried about that. These guys were just here. Well, sorry, I can't really sell you anything. I mean, I can sell you potatoes, so... Not 3,000 potatoes, 300 potatoes. For 24 coins, that doesn't seem worth it, but... It is going to be more potatoes than we can hope to eat before they go bad, so... No harm done in selling those. Alright, that house is complete. Somebody can move in and live there. And we can finally get our brickworks going. So hopefully we have a... Uh... Okay, yeah, we're getting there. It's nice that these are right next to the brickworks. That's going to be extremely useful in keeping things uh, going fast and efficiently. Now we just have to wait to get all that stone and a couple more nails. 
we need to have a burial plot. I need to figure out where that's going to be. And we should probably also build the town hall at some point. But at the same time, I feel like we're doing okay. I don't see stuff we can sell. And I don't know, these people don't really want to buy too much of what we actually have a surplus of right now. They're more interested in the finished products of stuff. And we're not going to get to half of this for 800 years. Okay, a new family coming in town. Looking good. The well is filled. Alright, they need stone. Well, our guy's getting some, so... Should be alright. I think we have enough in place for that to uh, be achievable. Because yeah, that's literally all they need is stone, and then I think they can actually build. It's just that foundation for part of the building takes a, a little bit of stuff that they don't have yet. Just watch these guys go all stinking day. Alright. Where did I put this thing? Yeah, right there. So that'll be nice if we can actually get all of this uh, kind of just well in a row. <laughs> it, it is a row house after all. We'll put a nice row here. Put the uh, town center probably right here where this uh, camp center is. Wait, okay, we have a hundred plus. Do I have that wealth tax turned on? Yes. So let's, um, oh, I can't edit it because we don't have the camp center town hall. Makes sense. All right. I can't sell. Can I sell buckwheat? I probably shouldn't if I only have 84. Yeah, we should probably be eating that instead. So that's going to be flax next time around. Okay. That's fine. All right. How are we doing here? Did we get all of our resources? Yes, we sure did. All right, well, let's watch them build the brickworks. I forgot I had fired most of the builders. Now it's just those three or four guys. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. After they finish this, they'll build a couple more houses and we can have people to staff stuff. And then hopefully actually produce enough bricks to have our first row house by the end of the episode. Although, spoiler alert, I probably will just keep going until we have enough to build the row house and just call that the episode. People don't seem to be afraid of super long episodes anymore. I think when I first started doing Ostrov, I would try to limit them to about 30 minutes because, oh, that's so long of a video. Yeah, I ended up being the fool with that one because apparently there's some people out there who want to watch hour and a half long videos of me playing Timberborn. But you know, it's fine, because I like playing Timberborn for that much time. But I think, I think these will probably need to not be that long universally. But we should be just about done here. What more could they possibly put up? I think there's a shed. Well, that must be what they're building here in the corner. Is that, uh, is that it? Oh, that's the kiln. Okay. Wow, look how short that is. Oh, good. It height adjusted. All right, cool. So, brickworks. So, it looks like this is going to function similarly to the tannery where you can have different batches. So, we'll go ahead and... I don't know why I hit apply to all. There's nobody else that can work here. Okay, minimum two workers. Do I have another workers? I sure do. Okay, so they're going to go gather all the materials that they need. They've got their clay and their sand right here. Uh, we should probably help them out by building a cart parking right nearby. Uh, can I get one right next to, uh, right next to their entrance here? Uh, the jury is out on that still. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, which is uh, unfortunate. Well, it's fine. It is telling us what we need for each batch. We have 
clay, we have sand, we have charcoal, and we have water. I am going to go ahead, since we have this platform now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off hello. Let me click. Thank you. Turn off for production on here and here. Oh, this is still having that weird glitch with the, uh, the skybox, kind of. But it's only on that well. This one doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to care. Well, that's fine. So we should have pretty soon enough to do a batch. And of course, a batch is only 500. So for us to require 8,700, it's going to take a while. It's going to take quite a long time. So we might not get our, might not get our row house in this episode, unless you guys want a two and a half hour Ostrich marathon, which uh, I don't think that video would do too well universally. There would definitely be some of you who uh, would be enthusiastic about that. But the the general public, no, they probably probably would not be too much of a fan of that. Now, I was hoping they would start this. Oh, there we go. Forming bricks. Drying bricks. Oh, that's faster than I thought. Okay. Oh, cool. And they're right here. Wow, look at this. That is really cool. I guess we can just have this whole shed filled up, huh? That is fascinating. I am really impressed. Yeah, so now they're focusing on building all this stuff. All right, we have a we have a tree right in the middle here that I guess it didn't get removed. That's all right. So this one's going to be wheat. That's going to be potatoes. That's going to be buckwheat. And that's going to be flax. And we have 11. We have 11 cows. Well, 11 cows and bulls inclusive. That seems to be uh, working just fine. I guess now all we have to do is just kind of wait for them to gather enough resources for stuff. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea actually to have a charcoal pile over here. If I can put one uh, kind of right outside the door. Uneven terrain. Since when does that matter for putting a fire on a slope? All right. Um, I can't put it there. Is that because it's going to intersect weird? Not really. Try to very gently press exactly the right spot. Okay, so I think I can put one here. I'll go ahead and rotate so that's a little closer. So that'll be nice. They'll have that right there, all good to go. We probably actually want to put another platform right down here. So that'll be easier for them to get access to. But I'm pretty impressed. We already have 500 bricks. That is cool. Of course, they've not been delivered anything to here yet. But they might be soon. As soon as those are finished drying. Preparing for burning. Waiting for charcoal. So I guess they, I guess they already had some. Okay, well. That's fine. How are we doing here on our orchard? Now these all say one. Yes, excellent. So we have our chickens. We have our cows. Uh, we don't need to build a slaughterhouse yet because we don't have enough cows to kill. But it is nice for us to have the milk here. Is there anything else we can... Pumpkins. Cool. Probably need to put a fifth market stall in. What are these people selling? Chickens, hemp. Wheat, honey, textile, broadcloth, uh, warm clothes. Theoretically, we need to have these at some point, but I, I don't think the game cares yet. We should really, really probably start making sunflower oil as well. Which, of course, comes from the oil workshop. Which, uh, actually, a lot of this uh, industrial stuff we could probably just put down here and be perfectly fine, honestly. Uneven terrain. Uneven terrain. Anybody not have uneven terrain over here? Okay, this is actually not a terrible spot. It's not a great spot. Uh, I don't think... I'm not in love with that, though. 
I should probably try to do fishing before anything else. I can put one, two, it looks like I can put two here and then a, uh, a boat yard over there, possibly. Yeah, we'll just put that guy right there. Move the row house back, because uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be a while. But they're making very fast work of all the bricks. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Meanwhile, this poor dead person has been waiting to be put to rest for probably a year at this point. I just don't know where I want to put any graves. Better question right now is, can I put another market stall in here? Is there anywhere in here I can put something else? It's not, uh, not looking good in that orientation. Though I don't know why this cares so much about uneven terrain when it's just four legs on a canopy on top. So I guess we're not going to put anything else. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can have it at a weird angle. Have it look really, uh, really strange. But it might actually fit. Oh, I so wish I could do that. So what about uh, coming in at an angle like this? It's not going to let me go anywhere else, huh? Okay, how much, how much more can I rotate this? Hmm. Oh, so close. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll make do with that. That's fine. We'll go ahead and apply all of those. Hire someone up, and is there anything to fill it with? Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. What else? I surely have to be able to sell some of this. Oh, we're already selling the flour. Already selling potatoes. Uh, firewood, uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll just leave that there for now. That's fine. Okay, how are we doing on our bricks? We have 1,200, okay. Okay, I, I'm liking this, gathering all of our supplies here, that's good to see. We still have plenty of lime here, we have metal parts we imported, we're not using iron, we're not using potatoes we're trying to sell, apparently. All right, let's move our fishing dock up. Probably should have built the boatyard first, in all honesty, but... Oh, that's going to be close. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it there. But putting the boatyard here is probably fine as well. I don't need another loan. I guess the game thinks I'm stupid and broke. That's fine. It's not too far from the truth in real life. Let's just get these guys to uh, build here. Or we get in too bad of a, uh, a spot. I don't know if you can hear thunder coming through the microphone, but we're having a gnarly thunderstorm. Had a pretty bad one last night, too, but everything seems to be fine. All right, let's see. Plowing. Are these going to be... Any of these going to be fallow at all? No, so we need a pasture. And yeah, we need a pasture for the cows. But I guess we could eventually just turn into another, uh, another farm field. So let's just do a simple uh, 30 by 30. If I can uh, figure out how to do this the correct way. Oh, this geometry is messing with me. All right. So there we go. We have that taken care of. Uh, they want to buy stuff we can't sell. Oh, uh, I wish it had... Oh, no, pigs are actually really hard to uh, maintain early games, so that's fine that we don't have those. But we can definitely buy... Oh, yeah, this is so cheap. Yeah, let's buy 500 sallow. We can sell that easily to our people there. They'll like that. Salt. We'll buy some salt as well. That'll be easy to sell. Boatyard. Very slowly. Taking shape. And I do mean slowly. So what other guys can I steal from somewhere else? Smithy, probably we shouldn't mess with, but at the same time we have plenty of nails, so maybe I'll just take one of those guys away and put them there in the camp center. We do need to build more houses at some point, but it is 
very important that we have somebody to build boats and somebody to fish before the end of the year. So we can sell stuff, and then we're going to have to get into salt. There's just there's so much to do. And now we have all these production chains in the game. It's kind of like, well, you more or less have to have a bunch of this all at once. Or else you have nothing. Yeah, so hurry up and build this fishing dock already. We got stuff to do. Stuff to do. How are we doing here on our resource collection? All right. Slowly exporting bricks. But I really like that it is this quick and this easy to get bricks. That is fantastic. Come on, finish this thing already. Just come down here and do it. These people have stuff they gotta do. It's a busy Monday. Can't sit here all day waiting for you to build a fishing dock. Now the question is, will they finish it before they all have to go take rest at the exact same time? We'll find out. It's looking good, though. This might actually finish in some sort of reasonable amount of time. Alright, cool. We're going to order a boat. Going to hire a worker. And then come over here, hire a worker for the boatyard. And then I think that means we can go ahead and... Uh, Go down to two builders. That should be enough for us to get somebody in here. And hopefully in the boatyard as well. There we go. Perform preventative repairs? Sure. Why not? So he'll start building a boat as soon as he starts getting supplied. Make sure we check all of that stuff. And there we go. Yes, I know there's no boats for fishing. Soon you will have a boat. As soon as you have wood. Ah, it's just the way it goes. And we still need a ton of resources here. Fortunately, there is plenty of wood to go around. And I don't think we're really hurting for anything else. Because we do have all of the nails already. That's looking good. Sand and uh, lime should not be a problem because it Lime should still be in the trading post. Yes. We have enough for that. That's okay. He's just waiting on wood and bricks. Now surely he can start building the boat before he has all the wood, right? There we go. You can see the ribs individually taking shape. I just each it's just individually rendered. So much care. There's the boat. He's going to go deliver the boat. Underneath the little bridge. Kind of an awkward uh, position for the fishing dock, but that's fine. Alright, and now this guy can go fishing. Going to work. Yes, come to work and get your... Uh, get your boat in the water, get some fish, and then we can uh, actually sell something. Sallow and salt. We'll go ahead and hire... I think we might have enough. Might have enough thatch to get this, uh... Oh, we've, why do we have a guy working in the thatchery? Goodbye. You can't work here. Go home. Go work in an, a job that's more useful, that you only men can do. How close are we on here? We're still still kind of far away. We don't have any uh, anyone looking for a job. Come on, man. Really? You, did you even come to work? Okay, I guess you had 19 fish. That I guess that counts. That's fine. I guess we'll have to hire somebody else to come in here and work at the fishing dock. What we really need is more uh, more houses. We've got to get some more people, but I can't go too much further away from here or else it's going to be bad, which is why I wanted to build the row house, because you can have a bunch of families that, uh, that can exist here. We just have to be able to get all the resources. Okay. I don't think we can really sell. No, we can't really sell anything. And we don't really need to buy any of this, so uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. Well, the bricks are being produced. Very, uh, well, I guess as fast as they can go, but it's still not super fast. I, re 
really want this building to be done. I think they can do it. We just have to wait. But can we at least get more than 39 fish so we can sell it to our people? There we go. Now we can import that. And people should be a lot happier about pretty much everything, which will be wonderful. Uh, why are chickens dying of starvation? Did we run out of... Uh, oh. All right. Well, this is why we have different options for feeding chickens. We have barley, buckwheat. How much linseed do we have? Only 32. Sheesh. All right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and have that set to everything. Uh... Flax? Can I feed them flax? No, I cannot. I can only feed them the linseed that comes from the flax. Barley, we're not going to be brewing anytime soon, so let's go ahead and uh, bring that on in. I guess I can set that to 400 too, that's fine. And let's try to uh, prevent all of our chickens from dying of starvation. Please get that over there immediately, thank you. Okay, cool. That was uh, almost very bad. <laughs> but we... Uh, we pull it off, as we typically do. I need this message to go away. There we go. All right, now we're just down to wood and bricks. We have about half the bricks we need. And the video is not obscenely long yet, so we might actually get this done. Yeah, we'll see. It's looking good. Gotta see these guys come in here and start moving stuff around. Looks like they uh, might be doing something. All right, should I build another house before we have this row house done? The answer is probably yes. Taverns, we don't have the uh, we don't have the alcohol yet. We don't have the production chain for it, so not uh, not thinking that's going to be a fantastic idea just yet. But in terms of other food, we really can't have too many more animals without really uh, messing up our supply chain because our farm is not really big enough yet. But we do have a pretty robust amount of hay for the cows, which is good because this is starting to get full. So to prepare for that, let's go ahead and put in a, uh, where is it? Slaughterhouse. Let's try to find a spot. I don't, I don't want to squeeze something in here where it's not going to make any sense, but can I, can I fit uneven terrain? Oh, I can put it here if I remove six trees or four trees or three trees. I like that. Let's just put that right there. That'll give them something to do while we're waiting on our bricks. Oh, but look at this. We got our foundation here. Just waiting on more bricks. I want, I know I wanted to watch these get built. So why don't we, uh, why don't we flop our slaughterhouse around? That's a cursed sentence. Um, put that in the front and then have them build that because I want to watch them build the rest of this guy because we still need 3,200 bricks and I think it's not too far off. Should be before snow if the, uh, the brickworks remains as, well, easily uh, operating as it currently is. I gotta get these guys to come in build. I don't think I have any extra. No, I don't have any extra bodies to give them. That's too bad. That should be fine. How are we doing on our fish? Okay, that's looking, looking okay. The other thing we needed to do the town hall so I can do seasonal hiring because I'm just gonna have to manually fire these guys when November shows up. I can't really, uh, how much is stone? Okay. Wow. That's cheap. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and not buy this right now, but hopefully if they can, uh, keep supplying stone, that's going to be nice because we're definitely going to run out if this is all we have. I don't know when, but I do know that we will definitely run out now, in terms of supply. Yeah, we're just uh, very, very slowly getting everything all set up. I actually don't know how many families can live in this row house. I think it has apartments, so it's it should be hopefully at least three or four. 
and then uh, stalls down at the bottom. I don't know what we'll be able to start selling there, but especially we have all these right here. But I figured the first one we build should definitely at least have those in there. Right, stuff is looking good. How are we doing on our slaughterhouse? Still waiting on trees, but they are supplying all the goods for it, so that is progress. Uh, probably what we're going to have to do is put in... Where's the big hay barrack? Oh, it's uneven terrain. It's not going to let me... Not going to let me put this here, huh? You said it. Oh, I can put these guys in. Okay, that's uh, that's progress. How many of these can I uh, put there? Okay, yeah, we can put three more right there. That's fine. We are going to need a lot of hay stored up. The slaughterhouse here will be definitely useful as soon as we get 20 cows and they start killing them off. They're just multiplying and multiplying. The fish supply seems to be more or less pacing demand. I don't have anything else I can sell here yet. When we get the cows starting to get slaughtered, that will be hopefully an easy thing to get put in there. All right. We're waiting on one tree for our slaughterhouse. Bricks are very slowly being uh, added over here. These guys have anything? They're not they they won't just sell bricks. They're not they're not that smart. Can I sell? No, I should not sell that much buckwheat. I don't have enough chicken eggs in storage to sell. I don't I don't really need to buy anything either. Although iron is going to become a problem probably pretty soon. Oh, we have 496. We're fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Just another little bit of the waiting game. Well, at least most of the resources are gathered. By the time these guys come down here to cut this tree down, they might actually be able to build it. Maybe. Or I could just sit here looking like an idiot. Well, now, okay, now, now it's time to wait and be irritated because there's only, only the tree left to go. How are we doing on our brick supply? 1,500 brick. Wow, okay. So we only need 3,000 left. That's uh, six loads. <laughs> six batches of bricks. At least these guys have all their resources pretty close to each other. That's good to see. Come on, cut this tree down already. All right, now you can build. Where are my builders at? Now you actually have the ability to do it. Come and do it. These trees are tall. I wonder how wacko this is going to be in terms of height difference. It might be... Uh, Okay, that's not that's not bad. Yeah, they'll probably have to stop in the middle so they can do boring stuff like sleep and eat, take care of their families, but that should be done, yeah, hopefully soon. Still gathering raw materials for the batches. I guess they could use some labor help. Um Boat guy probably doesn't have to be working there right now, so he can go do something else. Like be a laborer for the uh, brickworks, maybe. Let's see, all of this is looking fine. We just, oh, I hate to have the uh, the potatoes go bad in the trading post. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty sad. Okay, so now we're going to go back to trying to build this. So I guess we could watch a little bit when they have the chance to uh, get up here and take care of it. Hopefully it's soon because I really, really want to show this stuff to you guys. I think it's fantastic to have so many new items and new buildings in the game. We've already built a couple of them today. Okay, what's this messenger have? Uh, we're not going to buy or sell any of that. That's fine. All right, builder guys, where you at? Come on. Well, we can watch these guys haul bricks back and forth all stinking day, but at some point you have to actually, you know, put them in the building. I know that might seem like kind of an alien concept, but believe it or not, your job is to build. 
And you're both resting. Okay, well, that's allowed. Just uh, come on over here and start building. You know, there's only 1,200 bricks they still need, which is actually really impressive. I did not think they were going to get it done before the first snow. But at this rate, it just might happen. Now if our guys can actually build instead of just walking around. All right, supplying resources. Where's your resources you're supplying? You're going all the way. Where else are you? How are you supplying resources if there's no other resources that need to be supplied except bricks? Well, that's kind of bogus. Do we have anybody available? Nope. Just got to wait on these two clowns to come in and uh, start building it. It's already mid-October, man. Come on. Can't find brick anywhere. Yeah, really. No kidding. They're making them. You have to wait. Anyway, as soon as I move away from this, they're going to start building. I'm going to get irritated. So we'll just kind of keep that out. Oh, there they go. Yeah, you put those beams in. Put that floor in. There's the bricks. Oh, look how cool that is in like little chunks. I love that. I absolutely love the attention to detail and the actual like realistic brick laying process because you know you can't just go straight up. It has to be layered and layered and layered. That is really cool. You need a little header beam right here. I love that and the scaffolding. Look at this. Look at these people, man. That is such a cool design. And I think there's not even that much uh, they have left to gather in terms of bricks. Yeah, they still need 800. All right, but yeah, this is so cool looking. It's like an actual building. Really just absolutely masterful asset design. Absolutely love it. I guess they'll just keep bringing us bricks and bricks and bricks and bricks. I think get this done before the end of November so we can see it before the snow falls. That would be amazing. Oh, and beams on the inside for the second floor. Look at that. Look at them go. That is astounding. That is so cool. A little chimney in the middle here. Still need 700 bricks. Yep, okay. Looking good. Looking good. You know, you got three weeks left. Can you do it? I think these guys can. We just have to get our builder friends to come back up here. So let's uh, give them a little bit of help. I can unclick. Thank you. All right, somebody else come up here and start building. There you go. There you go. Get this thing done. Let's go. So that should be just about it. Minus the end caps and then all the roof trusses and everything. I actually don't think there's uh, much more they would have to build. There's even attic access. That is so cool. All right, there you go. Chimney goes up. Beams go up. resources, so that's actually really good. Then next episode, we can start building even more of these things. They're just about done. Here comes the snow. Just just finish this. Come on. Get the rest of that thing in there. Put those roofing tiles up. Yeah, there you go. How about that? 
Look how beautiful that is. That is a thing of beauty right there, my friends. Okay, and there's a store and there's three apartments. That is very cool. Oh, look at this. So we can, oh wow, so this would actually take the place of two market stalls. We could have a worker right there. And you can just go look at all the different, oh wow, look at this. Oh, I am impressed. I am super impressed. Oh, there you have it, folks. An hour and uh, 15 minutes later, we finally have our first uh, row house here in episode three, and it's already occupied by one family. I guess I don't know which one apartment four is, but we do have a family in there. We have space for more, and they should be able to move in. Look at the, the door opens. That's so cool. Go in and out, and they have a door back here, too, if they want to get uh, get in there. That is really cool. So we'll see uh, more of this next episode. We're going to keep making bricks, and we're going to keep making more of these things. But that is all the time we have for today. We have all of the, uh, well, all of the everything, really. These uh, orchards are all at two years, so I believe the third year is where we get fruit off of those trees. Everything is looking nice here as well. We have our slaughterhouse. We have cows. We're almost to the point where we can start slaughtering cows. And that will work out nicely there. It looks like we have a fallow field here. And then cow field, cow field, cow shed pasture. I'm going to actually link that to a farm as another field. And in this one, let's go ahead and grow for next season. What did I take off of this? This is barley and flax. Let's make this one into sunflowers and flax. We'll use the linseed to uh, take care of our chickens. Yeah, there you go. Now this farm has five fields. Yep, math. Hopefully I can still do basic elementary school math. We've got a row house. We've got a couple different industry things going on. And we are doing well. We're not making we're not making money. We're actually still uh hemorrhaging emerging funds but we'll be able to fix that as we get more and more things figured out and are able to uh, get our town hall because I think we have some uh, people that have a little bit of wealth they need to be spreading around so economic system of the game lets us do it so we're going to do it and we're going to put our uh, town hall in we're going to start building up this central area and it's going to look really 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 nice hey we have three families in here very cool immigration immigration and a marriage love to see that and everything is looking like it's going to be very, very nice moving forward into the next episode. So yeah, tomorrow, Tuesday, is going to be the season finale of our Timberborn modded with the Iron Teeth episode, I think 35, 36. I don't remember off the top of my head, but that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So make sure you check that out. And then, of course, we have another fun Cities Skyline stream today as of recording this video yesterday, if you're watching this. You can check that out if you want. Made a lot of good progress there. Of course, our Anno 1800 series is going to continue sometime this week. You can check the first video out of that one linked in the end cards in just a second. And we'll be having all sorts more fun the rest of this week. I don't know exactly what the schedule is going to be like, uh, which games on which days. But most likely we'll have another Oster video on Wednesday. Since this update still is pretty fresh, I want to make sure we're putting out videos at least for the first couple of weeks pretty frequently because there's going to be a lot of people who are playing the game that might want to see those or might have some questions maybe they can learn something or come and ask these videos are actually showing up really well on youtube search which is amazing i think the first episode is first slot when you search ostrov which i don't know how that works but that's really cool that it's up there so thanks for being here really appreciate you i hope whatever you're doing you're having a fun and a safe rest of your day and we will look forward to seeing you in another video Bye bye